All right, welcome to my video. My name is Ecogen. We're going to go over the mechanics for Snow Jade Fortress. This boss's attacks are derived from the Frozen and Flame Asuras and Temple of Voluvian, and he also borrows some attacks from Asura and Shogun's Lament as well. Now the tank, or whoever has threat, mu must always remain within melee range, otherwise he will cast a runewide AoE, Frost AoE, that will root players, and he'll keep spamming that until whoever has threat gets within melee range of him. Now his phases happen at 80, 50, and 20%. So once you hit those health thresholds, he's going to do a room-wide suction. So this indicator right here, as you see, it cannot be iframed. So it's going to pull everyone to his feet. And then as soon as you can, SS away. Now it's going to be RNG if he drops a frost or a flame AOE around him. This time he dropped a frost. And he's going to summon orbs. So for this orb phase, there has to be two people, to, you know, so a pair, in each line. So the lines I'm talking about are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11 o'clock. So two per line, because orbs are going to travel down this line towards the boss. And the, and the boss is going to absorb it for any orbs that are, are not blocked. So since he dropped a frost AoE, the frost orb is going to travel down the line first. Uh, doesn't matter which pair, which one of the pair blocks it, as long as one of them blocks it. Now he's going to fire projectiles at random people, so be sure to block it or use uh, some sort of projectile protection. Now he's going to summon flame, so the other pair will not block it. So one pair would have blocked frost, the other pair would have blocked flame. And once again, he's going he's gonna to fire projectiles at random people. Now he's going to summon flowers. Flowers are based on the initial AoE, so since it was frost, it's going to be a frost flowers. To get rid of these flowers, what you have to do is step on it with the opposite color. So people who, blo uh, who block the flame orb can step on these frost flowers, and that's how you remove them. If you have no buff, or if you have the same buff and step on that color of the flower, then you will receive damage. So you have to have the opposite color to step onto it. And then he's also going to summon these frost swords all around him. Just make sure you iframe those. And then he's going to finish the, uh, the phase here by absorbing any flowers that are left over. So any ones that are left over will heal him. And any stacks of orbs that he does absorb, you see the buffer right here, it says absorb orb buff, so he's got two stacks. Um, if he gets five, that will cause him to enrage. Uh, this, the stacks do not carry on to, to the next phase, so it does clear at the end of the phases. And now his next threshold is 50%, so once it hits that, that mark, he's going to do that room-wide suction again. It's going to pull everyone to, the feet, to his feet. SS right away. Remember that it's RNG, so this time it's flame, so he's going to summon flame orbs first. And now he's going to fire projectiles at people. So make sure one, one of the pairs block it. Next is going to be the frost orbs. And then once again, he's going to summon, he's going to fire projectiles at random people. All right, so now he's going to summon flame flowers. So people with frost need to step on these to remove them. Now the flame uh, part is probably the most dangerous part because he randomly picks markers and he'll, he drops those persistent flame uh, AoEs on top of people. So for melees, uh, you should probably move away except for the tank. And then if summoners, if, if you have any summoners in your raid, they should recall their cats before this happens because uh, the marker can pick their cats as well. And that will drop a bunch of swords all around the boss, which will kill any melees that are around it. And those flame swords do a lot of damage. As you can see here, I got nuked by that. And now he's going to absorb any flowers that are left over, which will heal him. So that attack right there. So because I lost threat, a ranged player had threat. So since that ranged player was too far away from him, that ranged player was not within melee range, that's the 
AOE, frost AOE that he will spam until the player, whoever has threat, gets close to him. And then outside of his phases, he's just going to do his attacks until he hits the phases. So there's nothing special outside of the phases, really. All right, so 20%, so that's the last phase. So remember that phases are at 80, 50, and 20. So he sucks everyone to his feet. SS away. It's going to be RNG if it's frost or flame. So it's frost in this case. So he's going to summon frost orbs. They'll be coming down the line. He's going to be firing projectiles at random people. Next is going to be flame. Block the flame. And then he's going to uh, proceed with firing projectiles again at random people. So each phase is exactly the same. There is no changes in any of the phases. And then outside the phases, he just does his basic attack moves. So there we go. That is the mechanics for Snow Jade Fortress. I will include the summary of the mechanics in a video description below. If you have any questions, please, of course, ask, and I will answer them. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped.